know, since I moved to Los Angeles, I have had a lot of jobs. And I'm not ashamed to say that I've been fired <laughs> from almost all of them. Most recently, it was a customer service job, but it was because the customers were mean. I swear. This one time, this guy called up and he goes, I want to talk to somebody who knows what they're doing. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Then you're going to have to call a different company altogether for that, sir. Because <laughs> nobody here knows what they're doing, especially me. This other time, this woman called up, and I, I guess someone had put her on hold, and I picked up the phone trying to be helpful. I said, yes, are you holding for someone? She goes, yeah, and I can't hold any more. I said, okay, goodbye. <laughs> That's a true story. I guess I'm not really service oriented, I'll be honest. Because I was a waitress too, and, and I don't think I had the right attitude because I'd walk up to a table, I'd say, would you like something to drink? And they'd say, well, what are our choices? I'd say, uh, yes or no. <laughs> you see what I mean? I was a bartender too. Now that's definitely a little better because, you know, at least you get to be drunk. But, you know, the, you're also promoting drinking to strangers, which I'm all for because, back me up on this, I think drinking has had a positive effect on our sex lives. We would all have less sexual partners if it weren't for alcohol, right? I know my list would probably go down to like, I don't know, 250. 300 tops. But I'll tell you what, my mom, my mother even knows the, the positive effects of drinking. Before the first time I ever had sex, she goes, you should probably have a couple of drinks because it might hurt. <laughs> yeah, it hurt all right when I hit my head on the dumpster.